Page 1. Dark Psychology and Manipulation by Christopher King Eller, 2021. 0, 0.0. Introduction. The combination of dark psychology and manipulation is perhaps the most sinister, malevolent, evil, and damaging form of controlling behavior. It can be life threatening to the victim. It is characterized by extreme harmfulness and premeditated deception. This book aims to give some understanding of the dark psychology and manipulation process. It explains how people can be induced into doing things that are harmful to themselves or others. Understanding what is happening in such situations can help break the cycle of control. It will also help prevent such situations from happening to another person again if it has happened to you at some stage in your life. There is mounting concern about the rise in controlling behavior by people in positions of trust such as teachers, religious leaders, politicians, and employers. Some unscrupulous people use creative mind games to control others for their own gain. This can include forcing someone to do things against their will or stealing their money or property. It can also include more serious abuse such as rape or even murder. Such acts go way beyond bullying, which can be a passing phase for some perpetrators. Dark psychology and manipulation instead involves long-term abuse and the deliberate use of false information to deceive a victim into believing that they are immune to being exploited by another person. Many forms of mind control involve the suppression or blocking of information to the conscious mind of the victim. This enables them to be exploited by unscrupulous people. Examples of dark psychology and manipulation include, a, being forced into doing things against your will for no apparent reason. b, having your money or possessions stolen by manipulating you into giving them to another person for no apparent reason. c, being exploited for sex by a person that claims to love you but in reality does not care at all about you. d, being forced to take illegal drugs by being told that they will help you with an illness e. being forced into illegal activities or being forced to keep silent about them. f. being deceived into going along with something because you are led to believe it is for your own good or the good of others. g. being forced to not tell anyone about a situation because you are being told that it is for a good and noble cause. h. Being deceived into thinking that a certain person would never manipulate you because they are your friend, relation, or religious leader. I, being told that if you leave a bad situation or relationship, then something worse may happen to you. J, being denied help because of such things as your age, gender, religion, or culture. K, being told that you are the only person that can save yourself. L. Being encouraged to stay in a bad situation because it is less stressful than leaving it. If you are involved in any of these situations, then this book may be able to help you. It explains some of the techniques that can be used in these situations. This book will mainly describe dark psychology and manipulation from the victim's point of view. However, there are also examples of how such methods can be used by perpetrators to exploit others for their own gain. Page 10